welcome to Paris, the city of lights, love and incredible foods. And of course we couldn't come here and not try some of France's most iconic and delicious dishes. This DIY food tour is going to include foods that we already know and love, but we're also going to try foods that we've never had before and that we couldn't miss the chance to try for the first time here in Paris. And we're going to start with breakfast, and that means a visit to a local boulangerie. Bonjour. In Kishloin. Croissant? Croissant? Uh, yeah. No, 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 So this is one of my favorite things in the world. So what a quiche is, is basically like a pie. So this one is savory and the inside is like an egg custard filling with like cheese and bacon and onions, this particular recipe at least. And this one is fresh off the oven. It's like warm and it smells so good. I can't wait to try this in Paris, let's see. It is so good. The dough is delicious. It's like her, the perfect like savory breakfast and like the inside is so creamy and delicious I don't really taste the bacon to be honest I don't know if Kitsch Lorraine always has bacon now that I think about it because I've never made it myself Have you changed your mind about quiche? I do like this quiche Quiche was one of the first foods that I hated <laughs> <laughs> I think it was like the cooked spinach and I used to not eat eggs But this one's very nice I think it tastes like a small hint of bacon but I'm not super sure I like it Next up is pan au chocolat. Pan au chocolat. Pan au chocolat. He kind of ordered this because of Gordon, because it's one of his favorite things in the world, but I get to try it first. Let's go. Mm. Do you hear the crunch? I heard the crunch. Mm -hmm. That's when you know. This is so good. Mmm. Delicious. The chocolate's like not too sweet. It's like a nice like bitter rich chocolate. A very like flaky croissant little bun. What do you call it? Pastry. I could eat one of these every day. Now it's time to walk it up and go to stop number two. Oh, oh do you have a No, 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 how are we supposed to get yeah, my I don't know. Yeah, but person. What? We don't have any discussion. Yes, you got to the station. 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 Well, that really sucked. I feel like we were just the victim of some kind of quasi city scam. We were leaving the train station and we were stopped by some official people and they said that we didn't stamp our tickets and therefore had to pay 50 euros 
per person because we didn't have a stamped ticket, uh -huh. even though we paid for a very valid ticket. And we show the ticket. They wouldn't let us go. They wouldn't let us go back to the previous station to stamp the ticket. They were like really aggressive and it seemed like a scam, like yeah. organized, but like it was totally a scam. We're only sharing so you guys don't fall for it and you always stamp your ticket, even though like the station also, didn't have... Paris, put the information in English so we know there was like no information was, said like go mm, stamp and validate your ticket. Not even like usually you have it to like enter and it's just it wasn't there. So it really sucked. So we had to pay 50 euros. They're like forgave one of us, but that really sucked. So we're going to eat our problems away. We're already at our next stop. Time to eat our happiness Yes. to fruition. Time to move on. <laughs> For lunch, we're having the very, very famous croque monsieur. And the sandwich started as a very basic thing that workers would have on like their lunch breaks, and somehow it became a thing. And it is basically a ham and cheese sandwich, but they use like a ham that they like cook on like a cloth, so it's like a nice ham. And then on top they put like melted Gruyere cheese, and it looks very good, and it smells really good. And fun fact, we tried the Francesinha in Portugal, and this is the sandwich that inspired the Francesinha, even though it looks nothing like a Francesinha. I'm gonna try the first bite of my croque monsieur. Even though it's a sandwich, they give you a knife and fork. And I think you are supposed to eat it with knife and forks because we're in France after all. I'm a big uh, ham eater, believe it or not, considering all the pork that you've seen me eating. But this ham is very, very good. This is really good. Mm -hmm. So I'm having a variation of the croque monsieur called the croque madame, very classy, and it has a fried egg on top. I think that's the only difference. And fun fact, I think it means Mrs. Crunch. <laughs> so if you want to open up a croque madame restaurant, you can call it Mrs. Crunch. This is like a very good, like comforting meal. It's not generally what you would associate like, French food with, because usually like, high dining is what you associate French food with, but this is just like simple, delicious. I think there's also like a bechamel sauce in there, like a creamy cheese sauce. I'm not sure what bechamel is, but it's all very delicious. I love a fried egg on top of any sandwich. 10 points for the croque madame. This one was a little bit of a last minute impulse because I saw it on the menu and I kind of like freaked out that I haven't had a creme brulee and I just like really wanted to have one. Oh yeah. It's never too early to have creme brulee. Mm. I don't know if you can hear the crunch. That's my favorite. It was really good. Never disappoints. And with a nice cappuccino. Or no cappuccino. He's giving me a face from behind the camera. Cafe ole. Cafe ole. Ole. <laughs> ole. is so beautiful and there's so much happening there's so much food like everywhere you look like it's just so stimulating and the food situation here is crazy so hard to pick because it feels like 80 percent of the establishments that we've seen are restaurants and foods from not only french but like from all over so very hard to pick what to eat Of course, you cannot come to Paris and not have a macaron, macaron, however you say it, I have no idea. Macaron. I don't know what's in them, honestly. I know it's like egg whites and almond flour with a little like cream in the center. But what I do know is that I love them. My sister used to make these and I love them.
I think the green one is pistachio. Let's see. I actually don't know what it is because it doesn't really taste like pistachios, but I like it. It's really good. We bought four other flavors, so we're just gonna munch on these until it's dinner time. You want chocolate? I do. Fish it. S'il vous plaît. Did I get lucky? Oh, I got lucky. <laughs> we did not plan that. <laughs> Chocolates. Hmm. So we're at this place that I'm not even going to try to pronounce, but I'm going to put the name here. And it is the most French looking place in the most French looking street, like where we are right now. It feels like a movie set. It feels fake. It is so cute. Our waiter is the nicest guy ever. We ordered French wine, French beer. And of course, the first dish of the night is going to be onion soup, which fun fact, it's not called French onion soup in France. It's just onion soup. This is actually one of our favorite dishes that we never have with some, for some reason we end up having it like once every two years. I don't know why, it smells so good. Onion soup to explain it like in a very simple way, it's like a beef broth with like onions, bread, and a soft layer of Emmental cheese on top. This is very different than how they serve it in the US because in the US it's like a thick layer of cheese. This one is very modest, very French. It smells so good and I know this is gonna be great, so. Mm. This is great onion soup. It is so good. Like it just cooled down a little bit, so it felt like proper to like order it because it was hotter earlier in the day. But this soup is so like soul warming. It's like a hug almost. This one is delicious. This place is actually really famous for its onion soup. So make sure to check it out when you're coming to Paris. We have never had this before and the only reason why we ordered this is because I saw the Julia Child movie a long time ago and I thought this dish looked incredible. <laughs> mm. This is so good. Mm. I love this so much. This is... I want to eat this every day. This is so good. Bon I, I can't believe we never eat like French food. Like, French food is so good and we never eat it. Eat more French foods. Find a local food, French food place where you live and just eat it. <laughs> Merci d'avoir regardé.